what's up foodies thank you so much for all the love you guys give me i really appreciate that thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing keep liking keep sharing and keep subscribing um i'm very thankful for that um for today's recipe what we're gonna be making is i'm actually making everyone's favorite finger food um i'm gonna be making some egg rolls um vegetarian egg rolls to be specific I'm going to be making it with my air fryer and also I'm going to be showing you how to do it traditionally with frying the, the egg roll. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe. Alright guys, so for this recipe, it's a very simple and very quick recipe. What we're going to do is I'm using two cabbages. I'm using the regular cabbage and then I'm also using uh, purple, uh, the red cabbage. All we're going to do is we're going to give it a quick wash and the... Um, um, we're gonna boil it very quick just a quick boil for five minutes um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a quick cold bath for it so I'm just gonna go ahead and add all my cabbage and the carrots in the boiling water we're just gonna boil it very quickly for five minutes <clears throat> And then we'll go ahead and give it um, a cold bath. So I'm adding red cabbage, uh, regular cabbage and some carrots to it. Um, you can be creative, you can add celery to it, you can add um, any vegetable that you like. You can be very creative with your uh, veggie egg rolls. Alright guys, so it's been about 5 minutes or so uh, since I'm letting the, the cabbage boil, cabbage and carrots boil. The reason for letting it boil is when you are eating it, it doesn't taste too raw um, after deep frying the, the egg roll. And the reason why we're going to give it a cold shower right now, it's um, when you give it a cold shower after boiling it, it keeps that crunchiness of the food. So that is the reason for giving a cold shower. So at this point, I'm going to go out and turn my gas off and just take everything out and give it a cold shower. Now for me, I'm making food for uh, for five to six people. That's why I have a lot of food. If you're not making food for five to six people and if you're just making food for one or two, um, you would be done in less than uh, less than one or two minutes. So be careful with that. Don't boil everything for five minutes. Just be mindful of your proportions. All right, guys. So after giving it a cold bath, all I did was I dried it out and took everything out of the, the water. Now all we're gonna do is just add some uh, seasoning to it and then we're gonna be ready to wrap the egg rolls. So for the seasoning, all we're gonna do is just add some soya sauce to it. With soya sauce, what I'm gonna do is add some salt to it. Add salt to taste, uh, make sure and remember that soya sauce already has, soya sauce is salty, so be careful adding a lot of this, um, the salt. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar to it, just a tiny bit of vinegar to give that sourness to it. And with that, we're going to add two more things and we're going to be done. Adding some sugar. about four spoons of sugar and then I'm adding some white paper powder so about one spoon of white paper powder <coughs> and then give it a good mix and we're gonna be <coughs> <coughs> give it a good mix and we're gonna be ready to roll all right guys, so I have mixed everything well. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start wrapping the egg rolls. Um, for wrapping the egg rolls, we're gonna take a little bit of mixture. <clears throat> now what I do with my egg roll, I actually make avocado egg rolls. So I add avocados to my egg roll. I cut them in tiny, um, well not too tiny, but just a little bit big pieces. So I cut them like that um, on my uh, wrapping stuff, the egg roll uh, wrapper. I put, I, I turn them sideways and then I put a little bit of egg roll um, uh, mixture in there and then just roll it up. It's very easy to roll it up. All you do is just, you go one circle like that and then you go one circle to the side. 
um, and then you're gonna roll it one more time and right before you may want you want to make sure that you roll it a little tight um, so right before your last roll what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, brush a little bit of cornstarch to it traditionally it's used with eggs um, and I know a lot of the vegetarian people that I have they have complained that oh they don't eat eggs so if I can show stuff uh, that is in substitute of egg so for the substitute of egg use a cornstarch uh, reason for using cornstarch it, keep, it keeps the egg roll a little crispy and it still helps you with the adhesive as well so all you do is just roll it up like that and your egg roll is ready to fry all right guys so i have my egg rolls wrapped um, there are two ways we're going to cook it we're going to make it the healthy way we're going to make the healthy way in air fryer so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open it up and we're going to go ahead and cook that on 350 degrees we just put two egg rolls in there for now uh, you can add more egg rolls to it if you want to um, once you put the egg rolls in there, you're going to go ahead and close it, cook it for 10 minutes on one side, turn it around, cook it on the other side. Uh, traditionally, the way the egg rolls are made are deep fried. So for deep frying the egg roll, what we're going to do is I have the oil on medium heat. The reason why I'm using a smaller pan is because I don't want too much heat. So all we're going to do is it's on a medium heat, we're going to slowly cook them, slowly fry them. So all we do is just go ahead and add our egg rolls in there. Um, I like to cook one at a time. You can do two if you want to. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is you don't want to overcook your uh, egg rolls. What you want to do is you want to make sure you're paying attention to your egg roll. Let it get golden brown, and as soon as it gets golden brown like this, you just take it off the heat. All right, guys. So these are my regularly fried um, uh, egg roll, and these are my uh, uh, air fried egg rolls. Uh, Pretty much, this is where you want to let it get to. Um, this is pretty much your avocado egg roll. So very simple recipe. You guys can make it in less than five to 10 minutes. Um, it's not gonna take, take that long for you to make the recipe. Uh, the food is ready, guys. I'm not waiting on you. Thank you so much for watching. I do wanna thank you guys for all the love you guys gave me on the segment for, uh, for the food that I brought for, uh, for my culture. Uh, for Gujarat, uh, for the Gujarati food, all the love I, uh, love I got. I'm very thankful for that. I'm very open to the ideas and suggestions that you guys want to give me. Uh, maybe you guys want to share your recipes with me, uh, share your uh, cooking secrets and let me know what I can do to improve. I'd be more than happy to uh, imply that into my next video. Thank you so much again. Food is ready. Not waiting on you. Have a great day.